found guilty of aggravated trespass. They were among five people who staged a protest against fracking at the site near Preston. They were given conditional discharges and each was ordered to pay £750 in costs. Our environment correspondent Colin Sykes was in court. November last year and a video from the protesters themselves shows them entering Quadrilla's drilling site at Banks near Preston. Before today's verdict, Barbara Cookson from Liverpool and Lauren Pepperell and Edward Lloyd Davis from Brighton joined a protest outside Preston Magistrates. A four-day-long trial heard the three had arrived by van at the site in the early hours of the morning and staged a day-long protest with banners before they were persuaded to leave. Time and time again, these extractive industries are getting away with destroying environments, destroying people's lives, and yet it's the people who stand up against them who are criminalised. So here we are again. We've been convicted today, which is, yeah, a real shame, but we'll continue. Quadrilla's search for gas trapped deep underground in shale had already attracted other protests from groups opposed to the controversial process of hydraulic fracturing or fracking of the rock. It highlighted that we have an issue in this county that we really need to address and that the agencies involved, the HSC, the EA, the Lancashire County Council, are not really addressing it collectively. Court heard all of Quadrilla's operations on the site were fully licensed. The company says the shutdown while the protest took place had cost it £20,000. Colin Sykes, BBC Northwest Tonight.